All right, let's spice things up a little bit. We're going to talk about passwords and we're going to add a new requirement. So we're adding more options, five new options, five special characters over here that we're adding. And the program has not been glitching out the last few videos, but it is certainly doing it today. Not sure what's causing it. All right, so we're also allowing five special characters. So there's five more options now in our passwords, but we are also putting a little requirement. We're saying, I don't want your password to look like this. All right, I'm looking at you. Anyone out there with a password like this? We don't want it. We need at least one digit or special character. So you do this, now you've got a solid password. <laughs> okay, so how do we do this? Conceptually, very straightforward. Just need to count them all up. But we are dealing with big numbers. So we will not be counting them up by hand. And furthermore, this is a much m more complicated question than it thinks of, than originally we might think with this requirement. Because without the requirement, it's pretty easy. Right? There were 60... 52 plus 10, yeah, there were 62 alphanumeric, and now five more, there's 67, All right? Without the requirement, it's just adding up all the length six up to the length 10, and now there's 67 options for each length, so just add up all those, all those results. So without the requirement, it's pretty simple. And again, that's a very, very big number, something times 10 to the 17th at least. Um, billions upon billions, billions of billions, really. I, I don't know. I can't visualize numbers this big. But there's a lot of options. But we need to trim that down to the ones that only have one digit or special character. And that's a much harder prospect because there's, there's a lot of ways that this can happen. And all the ways that something can happen is combinatorics, right? We could have one digit and one special character, one digit and no special characters, no special characters and one digit. We could have one of each. We could have two of one and none of the other. We could have none of the other and two of one. There's so many ways that this can happen. And we have combinatorial ways of dealing with this. But let's count with complements. Instead of finding all the things that do work, it's going to be a lot easier here to find what doesn't work, right? So we're, we know the total number of possible passwords with or without the requirement. How many of these passwords, how many of these are these many, 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 many passwords? How many of these don't have any digits or special characters? All right, so let's look at the failed passwords. Okay. Well, failing the requirement is going to be length 6 to 10. So again, it's also going to be adding up just like this. But now no numbers, no special characters, just the 52 letters. 62 letter, whoa, 26 letters, capital or not capital. We'll just add them up. 52 to the 6th, plus 52 to the 7th, plus 52 to the 8th. That's summation notation. Okay. Well, if we find that, we just subtract them out. And that's it. Really what we're doing is going back to sets, right? The set, we're curious about how many things are in the set of all possible passwords. All right, maybe we'll write set of good passwords. Um, good passwords. Well, good is a strong statement. Acceptable passwords, we're curious about the size of that set. It's a very big set. <laughs> all right, and what we're doing is we're just finding the size of the domain of discourse, the size of all passwords with or without the requirement. And we're just subtracting out the bad ones. Subtracting out the size of the bad ones. Or if you want to think about it, right, this is also just looking at the bad passwords complement. 
All right. Sometimes that's notated with a compliment. Sometimes that's no notated with a bar on top. I think we did the bar on top, but now there's just so many bars. I don't really like that. But I'm pretty sure the notation we use in this class was the bar, the bar on top. Yeah, that's another way of thinking about it. And it's just much easier here. So our total, our answer, right, is just going to be the sum from i goes from 6 to 10 of 67th to the i minus 52 to the i. Or you could do these individually. Be very careful when you're, when you're combining these. You're summing these and you're subtracting these. Because of like the distributive property, you can simplify it like this. Again, you can do it by hand. I'm not really, I don't really care in this chapter about this notation. It's just me doing shorthand because I want to write less. And as an added bonus, it hopefully helps teach some shorthand. So we're going to get a very big number. Let's find out what all these things are. All right. Without the requirement, there's 67 to the ith. I goes from 6 to 10. Very big number. All right. About 1.850 times 10 to the 18th. The bad blue passwords. All right. That's going to be 52 to the ith. That's 1.474, 10 to the 17th. And again, these numbers are not that close to each other. This is 10 times as big as this. So we're still getting 90% of the passwords, right? We're only throwing out 10% of all possible passwords with this requirement. All right, and whether you subtract out those numbers directly or use this formula over here, you should get the same answer. But if we write this as, I'm going to use parentheses here, 67 to the ith minus 52 to the ith, we get 1.703. 1.703 times 10 to the 18th. We get most of them left. And again, subtraction with scientific notation looks a little weird. But rest assured, it does work out. Think about this is 0 0.14 times 10 to the 18th. 0 0.14 times 10 to the 18th. Added to this makes 1.84 times 10 to the 18th. And I rounded a little bit, but yeah, 1.84 is really close to 1.85. They do indeed add together. And that's how we have it. That's a lot of, that's a lot of passwords. What's 10 to the 18th look like? 1.703 is what we were times 10 to the 18th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's get my commas right. If I can count by threes correctly this time. I don't trust that I did this correctly. It's a big number. Lots of possible passwords. Let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, that's counting. Welcome to Combinatorics.